Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. It is good to be back. It's good to be back. Uh, all right. Let's get into today's show. Um, we're going to get into uh, Canelo versus the winner of Plant Benavides. Um, you know, possibly Canelo versus the winner of Plant Benavides, and, and why either fight is a good fight, and I know y'all are going to complain if Plant wins, but you need to think about that. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. All right, let's get into... Uh, and also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right. <clears throat> so, and this is just a rumor. There's nothing official. There's nothing tied to this. This is just a a possibility. Um, Canelo versus Plant Benavides. Winner. And obviously, if Benavides wins, everyone loves that fight. And I want you to think about this logically. If Benavides wins, because Benavides is the boogeyman, no one wants to beat Benavides. I mean, no one wants to fight Benavides, right? He's the boogeyman. Everyone's scared of him. He's next level. He's made different. No one wants to fight Benavides. Keep this in mind. No one wants to fight him, right? Everyone's scared of him. He's a monster. He's going to break you down. He's going to punish you. He's going to beat you. He's going to stop you. If Caleb Plant beats him, then he fights Canelo. Oh, but we already saw Canelo stop Caleb Plant. Okay, so two things. He's t- if he beats Benavidez, he's the next best guy in the division. So what's your issue with one fighting two? You complain about Ryder, who's 10 or 15, 15 best. Um, so now you're going to have a beef with him fighting the guy who would be number two. If he beats Benavides, he's second. And he just beat the boogeyman. Look, I, I, I'm i so ever just leaning towards Benavides. I could see either man winning this fight. Caleb Plant's got a path to victory. I, I've been saying this. Caleb Plant is the best version of himself with Stephen Bredman Edwards. Stephen Bredman Edwards, I think, is the most underrated trainer in the sport. He gets these movers, these boxers, to sit down on their power without sacrificing any of their speed. Um, This is a top-notch fight. This is a this is a 10 out of 10 fight. Um, it, it, it's as good of a non-title fight as you can get. Um, and I think it puts the winner in perfect position. Now, most of you guys are going to pick better these, but it's close. I could see Plant winning this fight. I'm officially going to pick Benavides. Um, but this fight is close. This fight's real close. Plant could win this fight. And if he does, he just beat the boogeyman. If you just beat the boogeyman that everyone's afraid of, why wouldn't you get Canelo? It would only be logical for you to get Canelo, the biggest name in the sport. You just beat the boogeyman who Canelo's afraid of, right? Canelo's afraid of Benavides. That, that's the talking point, right? I, 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 you might be right. Maybe he is. I don't know. If Caleb Plant beats the guy Canelo's afraid of, why would you have a problem with with Caleb Plant getting that rematch? If Caleb Plant beats Benavides, Caleb Plant can beat Canelo. You uh, right now, y'all are all gonna pick Benavides to beat Canelo. M- most of y'all, within the sound of my voice, are gonna pick Benavides. To beat Canelo. Right? Okay. So if Caleb Plant beats Benavides, beats the guy you think can beat Canelo, who Canelo's afraid of, why would Caleb Plant not get the fight? 
Look, has ever in the whole history, in, in the whole history of boxing, has anyone ever lost the first fight, come back and won a rematch? I'm telling you right now, if Caleb Plant wins this fight, which I give about a 45% chance of winning this fight, if he wins this fight, I pick him to beat Canelo. I pick the winner of this fight to beat Canelo. Simple and plain. So, all of this beef I hear that a, Canelo is ducking Benavides. Perhaps he is. I don't know. Benavides would beat Canelo. And if Caleb Plant, who has a legitimate chance of beating Benavides, beats Benavides, he shouldn't get a rematch. Guys, make this make – show me how your math – check your math here. Prove your math because that doesn't make no type of common sense at all. That is the most nonsensical thing I've heard all day. Um, And then also, let me know what you guys think. Who, who do you got winning this? Do, do you – Caleb Plant did not fight the right fight against Canelo. I, I said he's going to run. He's going to be off his back foot for 12 rounds. You cannot fight Canelo that way. Canelo will eventually slow you down, break you down, stop you. What happened? He caught him, broke him down, stopped him. You guys can go back. To, uh, uh, this is what I called. This is what I said. There was no chance that that game plan was going to work. Like, everyone thinks they're Lauder, and they're going to execute Lauder's game plan. First off, you're not Lana, and he's a much better version of Canelo. So it's just not going to work. And it doesn't. You have to, like, Bavol was walking Canelo down at spots. Or there's times where you have to stand in, stand your ground, stand in the pocket with him, and trip. You can't run for 12 rounds. This is not an amateur fight where it's three rounds and you can get on your back foot. Nope, not going to work. Not, not for 12 rounds. Not with Canelo. He's too good. He's too good. He's too strong. He's too slick. He knows how to get in the inside. You're going to have to fight in spots. Now, I'm not saying you stand in all 12 rounds. But Stephen Fulton did it with Brandon Figueroa, right? And like almost, but you have to be able to fight inside. You have to be able to fight in the pocket. You have to be able to stand your ground, tie him up, right? You have to be able to smother him and, and, and not, look, there are times, yeah, you go backwards, you fight off your back foot, you, you make him chase you. And there are other times you got to stand your ground. If you can walk him backwards like Bavol, we saw that he's not so good at that. If you can make him go backwards, he's not a the best fighter in the world when he has to do that. If you let him come forward and you let him get inside and you let him beat you up and you're just going to run from him, he's going to get you. He's going to get you. Um, so I, I think hiring, bringing in Breadman is the perfect guy to do this. We've seen him do it with Kieran Davis. We've seen him do it with, uh, J-Rock. We've seen him do it now with Caleb Plant in the Dural. We keep seeing him do it, right? So we know what he can do. And, and like, Benavidez is... Benavides is good. He's big. He's strong. He's massive. He's an animal. He's got really good skills. So this is going to be a really good fight. And again, I'm picking the winner to beat Canelo, whoever the winner is. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. A quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the greatest latest boxing news and rumors it is march 20th 2023 from texas to the world thank you and god bless don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring